Hello everyone, welcome to this amazing video on the OpenAI latest model GPT-40. Whether you are curious about its underlying technology, real world applications or future prospects. This video covers everything you need to know about GPT-40. So let's quickly understand what is GPT-40. GPT-40 is a big upgrade in OpenAI's smart tech. It's better at understanding and talking like human than previous version. It's super good at tasks like answering questions or writing stories. Just have a look. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. Now, it can even understand pictures. This makes it even more useful. Hey, ChatGPT. Hello there. How's it going? It's going really well. Today, I'd really like your help solving a math problem. I'm all ears. What math problem can I help you tackle today? So I'm going to write down a linear equation on a sheet of paper and I'll show you. And then I'd love your help working me through it. But importantly, don't tell me the solution. Just help give me hints along the way. Got it. I'll... Okay, I see it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't show you yet. Just give me help <laughs> along the way. One second. Whoops. I got too excited. I'm ready when you are. So, ChatGPT, what equation did I write down there? Ah, I see it now. You wrote down 3x plus 1 equals 4. Whether you are using it for fun or work, it's way better now. It shows that OpenAI is really good at making smart stuff. If we talk about model evaluation as measured on traditional benchmarks, GPT-40 achieves GPT-4 turbo level performance on the text, reasoning and coding intelligence while setting new watermarks on multilingual audio and vision capabilities. So now let's move forward to the demo part and now let's explore the features of ChatGPT-40. So as you can see my phone screen is there. So this is the UI of ChatGPT-40. Here you can see the model name GPT-40 and GPT-4, GPT-3.5. So GPT-4 is for premium version so as you can see here is camera button, you can upload the files, you can upload the picture, you can give the audio text, give, you can chit chat with chat GPT. Okay, so these are some, okay, default prompts are there. So let's start with the, this audio version, this new version. Okay, so you have to just click here. So it will connect with the OpenAI server. So hi chat GPT, how are you? Hi there, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm also good. That's great to hear. Is there something specific you'd like to chat about today? Yeah, please tell me something about GPT-40. GPT-4 is a language model developed by OpenAI. It's designed to understand and generate human-like text based on the input it receives. GPT-4 is an improvement over previous versions with better accuracy, understanding, and generation capabilities. It can be used for a wide range of applications. So, Chad GPT, can you please tell me how to become machine learning engineer? Sure. Becoming a machine learning engineer involves several steps. One, education. Start with a strong foundation in mathematics, especially in areas like statistics, linear algebra, and calculus. A degree in computer science, data science. So this is how you can ask ChatGPT anything, right? So let's ask something related to IQ. Let's check the IQ. So can you please tell me which is the most spoken language in the world? 
The most spoken language in the world by number of native speakers is Mandarin Chinese. It has over a billion native speakers. However, when considering the total number of speakers, including those who speak it as a second language, English often ranks at the top. Okay. So, ChatGPT, can you please tell me, like, I want to create a YouTube video on what is machine learning. So, can you please help me with the content plan? Sure. Here's a simple content plan for your YouTube video on what is machine learning. One introduction, one to two minutes. Greet your audience. Briefly introduce yourself and your channel. State the topic of the video. What is machine learning? Two, what is machine learning? Two or three minutes. Define machine learning in simple terms. Okay, see, this is how you can ask ChatGPT anything. And uh, all the file, all the data will come here. Okay, see, I asked this. Okay, so ChatGPT, can you please tell me this? Then the answer is there. So now let's check the another feature, which is image recognition. Okay, so first, what you can do, you can click the pictures right away, or you can upload your screenshot. So I have, I will go to the gallery, and I will upload this. One code is there, add. Please explain this code. You can write this, okay? Just send this. So here you can see the code in the image is a simple Java program. I will show you the image. The prints hello world to the console. Here is breakdown of each part. Okay. So it explained beautifully. Okay. So let me show you the picture. So this is a simple hello world program. So you can ask ChatGPT by uploading a screenshot, your screenshot. Okay. You can ask any route of yours. So now let's again upload one image. Then I will upload my image and add describe this picture or you can make even stories okay describe this picture and make a short story in 100 words this is the current photo as you can see in a modern studio john prepared to shoot his latest youtube tutorial on machine learning wow with a green screen behind him, professional lightning illuminating the room, he sat at his desk, laptop open, and notes ready. Okay, and you, if you will see the picture, right? So you can ask anything to ChatGPT by uploading your screenshot or a particular image. What if I want to click one present picture? Okay, so what I can do, I can open this camera part and I can do this. Okay. So next, describe this, upload. This image shows the screen of a Dell laptop displaying an award from the world's number one online bootcamp, Simply Learn. See? So this is how you can upload your picture or even you can talk to ChatGPT on video call like you do with your friends or your family. Okay? So this is not... Published, yes, this version, but it will come soon. Okay. And even the time is displayed. Wow. Okay. So what if I want, like, you can write, oh, Google logo image. Okay. Now it will create an, an image. See, doing research with Bing, searching Google logo image, it will search and it will create one image. I guess it should. It's charge, but it can do anything. Okay, okay, I want image, I want image, I want logo image, or I can write create image for me, okay, give something, okay, let me write create Google logo image, now I think it will make Okay, see, as you can see on the screen, creating image, right? So it will, I hope it will create, not sure. Okay, done. Show me the image. See, Google image, not exact, but somewhat right, okay? So this is one, and what you can do, you can, there is one more feature, multilingual. So again, we should connect.
connect so how can i say how are you in spanish in spanish you can say how are you as como estas if you're addressing someone informally como esta usted for a more formal context okay how can I tell my name in french to someone To tell someone your name in French, you can say, je m'appelle your name. For example, if your name is John, you would say, je m'appelle John. Wow, amazing, right? So this is how you can learn any language you want to. Okay, so these are some basic features of ChatGPT 40 Maybe in future, it will launch more and more new features, right? You can upload your document, you can upload any sort of a screenshot, you can ask for the code, you can do anything, right? You can upload your image, any sort of image, and you can ask ChatGPT to, to describe it or to make one story. So now let's move forward and see some safety and limitation of ChatGPT 40. So now let's talk about safety and limitation of GPT 40. GPT 40 prioritizes safety by design across different types of data and by refining its behavior after training. They've also developed new safety measures to control voice outputs. They also had outside experts review GPT-4 to identify and address risk, especially in new areas like audio. They will keep improving safety as we learn more, while text and image inputs and outputs are available now. They are still working on making other features like audio, safety and user-friendly. So if you want to be part of this AI advancement journey, then here is a quick info for you. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Try giving Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. This course teaches in demand skills such as machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, generative AI prompt engineering, chat GPT, and many more. So don't forget to check out the course link from the description box below and the pin command. With this, we have come to end of this video. If you have any question, please comment down below and our team of experts will help you as soon as possible. Thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.